This video is to explain another assembly mode of the ECC Optus standard test cell referred to as mode number 2 in the manual. In this example, a 1 mm wide electrode strip cut from a conventional graphite electrode with copper foil current collector is being used as a working electrode. This electrode strip is placed beside a lithium metal foil connected to both the counter and the reference electrode of the potential stud. Importantly, the graphite electrode is placed with its active layer pointing towards the window on top. This way, the current cannot enter vertically through the copper foil, but only from the edges of the graphite strip. This side-by-side -side geometry results in a gradient of the local electrode potential along the width of the electrode strip rather than along the depths of the graphite layer. With a microscope looking through the window, we can nicely observe the color change of the graphite during charge and discharge and, at the same time, the growth of dendrites at the lithium metal counter electrode. Before starting the assembly inside the glove box, all components need to be dried in a vacuum oven overnight. Now, we start the assembly by inserting this o-ring seal into the cell base, then attach the central piston, attach the feed wires, the first feed wire in position B, screw in the feed wire until the tip of the wire is reaching the upper face of the cell base. Then repeat the same with the second feed wire in position A. Put the assembly onto the desktop. Insert this glass fiber separator, which is 1 mm thick and 10 mm in diameter. Place the lithium metal foil onto the separator and make sure that feed wire B makes the contact at the edge of the lithium metal foil. Besides the lithium metal foil, place the graphite electrode with the active layer pointing upwards towards the window which is finally put in place. Make sure the window is in the center position as you may otherwise break the window when attaching the cell lid. Now attach the cellet. The cellet used in this experiment has an inspection hole diameter of 6 mm, which is different from the standard cellet. Fasten the screws. Then turn the assembly upside down and fasten the two feed wires. Press firmly onto the central piston so that the soft glass fiber separator fills up the space between the electrodes. And screw in the spring load. Take up a small amount of electrolyte, approximately 0.2 milliliters, with a syringe. Attach the syringe to the ref port of the 
test cell, pull back the syringe piston in order to evacuate the cell, release the piston so that electrolyte goes into the cell, then remove the syringe and plug the cell. Now the assembly is completed and the test cell can be removed from the glove box and the measurement can be started outside.